So we're out on the bike again, we're out on our travels and the plan was to go to Inverness on the train and cycle back down the road. I had a great uh, route planned coming down uh, Loch, uh, Fort Augustus, cutting over the A9 to, well cutting over and uh, I can't remember your name, it's a mountain pass over the A9 and then coming down to Tummel Bridge. Had a great wee uh, route planned. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a slot for my bike on the train. They were all booked up. Must be due to staycations. So this is plan B. We're off. We've got a direction. And we're just going to head that way. And we're going to see how many days we can stay out for. So, I've not long left the house. And this is day one. We're actually on the canal. And we're heading towards Strathblane. So, that's the way we're going. So, I'm about... Three miles out of Dunblane, so I've done about 13 miles so far. The showers have been torrential. They've been bouncing off the ground, and I've had to take shelter under trees. Yeah, I'm waiting to go off. It lasts about 20 minutes, half an hour. Uh, so, as long as the tent holds up because it's, it's supposed to be rain and showers all week if the tent holds up we'll be okay uh, we can put up with a bit of rain uh, as a summer after all but I don't think it'll stay off very long I think it'll be back on before before long so I'm going to go into Strathblane and get something to eat have a coffee and then head on a road that I've never been on before. So we'll see what like that is. So, we've just had another real heavy shiver and it's just went off. I can see a wee bit of sun try to peek through the sky. So I'm on this uh, road that I've never been on before. This takes you to Calerne. You join this road at Strathblane. And it's a private road, but you can, it's, it's, a, it's got public access. So this is where we are. We're at this bit the now. And it takes you on to Calerne, as I said. I just hope a big heavy downpour doesn't come down again because I don't think I'll find much shelter on this road. This would be a great wee trip if it wasn't so wet and rainy. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get through it. So, it's a lovely wee bit, it's nice and quiet. You can hear the traffic down, down in the valley there, that's the main road. It's a lovely wee bit, I've never been up here. I've never been up here in my life. Look at the hills. And there's the wee bike, still going strong. I'll need to fix my wee bag because it's going for it. That's to keep my saddle dry. Right, let's crack on. Okay, we're just going into Drummond now, we've just passed the Drummond car campsite, come up with the hills. It's quite a steep hills when you've got a lot of gear on your bike. Uh, must be back of eight, nearly nine o'clock maybe. So we'll be looking for a campsite real soon, probably as soon as we get through Drummond. We'll be starting to look for a campsite. The weather stayed, the weather stayed, uh, stayed dry for the last couple of hours. 
but I think it's going to have a quite a heavy downpour at night. So I'm eager to get the tent set up and settle in, see how the tent does. Let's crack on. Okay, I'm in the tent. Uh, I'm in the hills up above Aberfoyle. I got here last night, it was foggy, really foggy. And you could hardly see in front of your face. The rain had died down, it was just sort of drizzly. Uh, found this camp spot, but it's on a slight wee hill going down the way. Looks like it's got to be another wet one. It's no raining yet, but Hopefully it won't rain for a while. Some of my stuff needs dried out. Socks, jacket needs dried out. It's hanging up there. Uh, shoes are soaking. I haven't got another pair of shoes either, but I suppose they'll dry. And a few wee injuries. Strained my wrist and hurt my hip, but the hip thing was like that before I came away because it was like kicking a ball about. Playing a wee bit of football and stuff, uh, hurt my hip. Apart from that, everything's great. It's nearly six o'clock, want to get up, make coffee, break camp, have something to eat first, break camp, and Head down in the other foil, it's only a couple of miles down the hill. Uh, that's the plan for today. I can see it's foggy, foggy, foggy. I think it's getting worse actually. So, a better view of last night's camp. The road's just over there. Uh, the, the mist is lifting a wee bit just noticed over here at the tent just ready to take the tent down that fire was already there when I got here so no complaints don't know who had that fire but I just noticed through these trees here over there that must have been a massive forest I've just cut down all the logs are still lying there. So, this is last night's camp. I've packed up almost, ready to go on down into Aberfoyle. <laughs> 